Hello, my name is Marion. In this presentation, we are going to talk about the MRI registry. I am going to go over some tips that you can use to pass your registry on the first try. Before I begin, I'm just going to tell you a little bit about myself very briefly. I am recording this video in September of 2024. So at this point of my career, I have been in the radiology field for about 10 years. I passed my x-ray boards in 2014. And from there, I just went back to school to specialize in different modalities such as CT, MRI, mammography, and breast ultrasound. I do enjoy teaching and training students and just want to share my knowledge regarding the field of radiology. I am registered with the ART and pretty much whenever you work in MRI, you will be taking MRI images of pretty much every body part depending on what facility or hospital you work at. And it is important for you to know how to start IVs because depending on what facility you work at, you may have to start your own IVs. You may or may not have a nurse or a tech aide to help you with that. So it is very important to learn how to start IVs whenever you are training and getting all of your MRI compasses in. And it also is important for you to have patience because you will experience some type of patients who have claustrophobia and they are afraid of getting into the MRI machine just because they're afraid of closed spaces. So you have to have that patience to be able to help the patient get through their MRI exam. So I'll just explain in the next slides on what the ART requirement is and how I pass my boards. And you also can use this if you have a different MRI board that you are studying for as well. For the ART requirements, I'm going to focus on the implementation date for February 1st, 2025, because up until this point, I am recording this video in 2024. So since it's almost the end of the year for me, I'm just going to focus on what is going to be implemented going forward after 2025 or starting in February of 2025. And in this section, this is regarding if you are learning MRI on your own, pretty much you are taking a course through a website or an organization where you are doing it through CEUs. And this is from the ART website. So pretty much this gives you a breakdown of what is expected and the minimum amount of credit hours you have to get for each category. You have patient care, you have safety, image production, procedures, what is expected under all those categories. So in the next slide, I will talk about a little bit more about how many CEUs you need if you are studying this on your own and you are not going through an actual program. If you are not going through an actual school and you are getting these CEU requirements on your own through a website or a certain organization, you will need a total of 16. So that will fall under that content category that I was discussing. So just make sure you have a total of 16 credit hours. A lot of times, depending on what website you are going through, it will be a bundle and it will say 16 credit hours or you may even see 20 or 24 credit hours. And it will give each breakdown of how many credit hours is in each category. But if you are going through an actual school, then you won't have to worry about this because they will make sure you have the correct amount of CEU. So this is only if you are doing the CEU requirements or you're studying on your own. This is what you have to have in order to be able to sit for the ART registry. Here's the exam content specifications. This will start in February of 2025. You have a total of 200 number of scored questions, but if you look under the total 200 numbers, you will see this fine print where it also talks about an additional 30 unscored pilot questions. So in total, you'll have about 230 questions on your ART registry. The total amount that will actually be scored is 200, 
but you also have those 30 questions that they throw in that will not be scored. But since you do not know which one will be scored or unscored, it's still important for you to just study and just consider all of those questions as if they're all are scored. So um, you want to just make sure that you are familiar with your patient care, your safety, image production, the procedures. You can see under number of score questions, how many questions fall under each category. For patient care, you're going to have about 16 questions. Safety, you have 21 questions. Questions. For image production, you'll have 106 questions. For procedures, you'll have 57. So all of these are important, but you also want to make sure that you are focusing on what the bulk of the questions will be. Make sure you really know that information, because if you look under image production, this is where most of those physics questions will come from. So you want to make sure that you are caught up and know your physics well in order to score well in this category. Also under procedures, that's going to be your sectional anatomy. You see there are 57 questions. So you just want to make sure that you are familiar with your anatomy so that you won't have any room to miss. And even though patient care and MRI safety does not have a lot of questions like the image production procedures, you still want to make sure that you can score high in this category as well because you do not want to miss these questions because these can be easy questions that you can pass to make up for the harder questions like physics questions that you may not understand properly. This information is on the ART website. It goes over different categories and different topics that you will have to know for patient care. So you can just follow this. You can take your book or you can just make notes beside each topic just to make sure that you understand each section. And you can just go through and you can write notes on the side or you can also get a notebook and just write different notes regarding the vocabulary words, important terms or important examples that you would need to know to pass if you are forgetting certain things. This is more information under patient care safety. Just make sure that you are making notes or that you know this section well in your review book. Whatever book you are using, just make sure that this information is in there and you understand these topics. This is more patient care information. Some of these items under these topics, you may even know them from work. I know each year, depending on where you work at, you may have a lot of review questions or continuing education credits that you do for your job. And it will list some of these things, especially um, contact, droplet, airborne, precaution. These are things that you do at work. So maybe this won't be as hard for you to understand since you have to know this whenever you are at work. So just write different test questions um, or just come up with different terms or write notes beside each topic just so you are familiar with certain lab ranges or the definition for each term that is in this section. Under this MRI safety topic, a lot of this you already know because you work in MRI and you have to understand this before you bring the patient inside the MRI room. But for some of the topics under this category that you do not understand, just get your book and write notes beside each topic so that you can understand it for your registry. The image production section is where the physics questions are going to come from. So if you are not good in physics, you want to make sure that you know this section well. I would take my physics book and just go through each topic and write out the answers to each term or write down examples. Go on the internet and you can look at different pictures regarding the artifacts so that you are familiar with how an artifact look. Whenever you are at work, you do quality control or QC a lot so maybe doing that QC and looking at those images can help you out as well so just go through each section and just write out what each topic means under this category
Image production is going to be continued from the previous slide for this one. So just make sure that you know this area and these topics are in this category. Just like I was saying in the previous slide, just write out each note beside this topic or the um, topics in this category. This is more a physics question. You'll see image production, and then you'll see number two, it says sequence, parameters, and option. Also look off to the side of each topic. It'll give you different information, such as it'll say focus of questions. It'll tell you what to focus on in each topic, what may be asked, or what may be the focus of the question. So just pay attention to every information you see on that ART website and page. All right, this is the last page on the ART website for image production. Like I was telling you at the beginning, this section of the test is going to be a lot of questions regarding physics. So if you do not know physics well, make sure you spend a lot of time learning this section. I will categorize to the section or topic I do not know as well. And I will study that first. And then I will study the topic that I know well towards the end. So if physics is what you struggle with, make sure you are writing a lot of notes regarding this category. For your anatomy, this is another section on the ART website where it's going to have a lot of questions. So you want to make sure that you know how the anatomy looks and also make sure you study the focus of questions under that section. It'll give you what the question may focus on. So just make sure you are reviewing everything on this page and writing notes on it. This is the last page where we are going to cover the anatomy. So I would say just make sure that you know your anatomy and also make sure that you know the focus of the questions, everything under this topic of how the question will be answered. So in the next slides, I'll tell you more about how I prepared for my test and what got me to pass my test on the first try. Okay, so in this section, I'm going to tell you how I studied for my registry and pass it on the first try. The first thing I did was I attended an online MRI program. The school I went to online, it had me set up with a clinical site in my area. The program was for one year only. I read an MRI book months before I started the program. So I read an MRI book about three to four months before I started because I knew the MRI physics was going to be hard for me to understand. I was a CT tech first. So when I opened my MRI book, I saw that the physics was totally different and I knew it was going to be a challenge for me to know. So I read that book about 10 times before the program started. And also, at the end, I reviewed all the material my instructor gave me. I reviewed the PowerPoint slides, the videos, the test questions and answers um, to help me study for my registry. Also, I bought several question and answer books and review books because I just wanted to make sure that I passed the test on the first try. I have test anxiety, so I was nervous and I just wanted to make sure I can just pass on the first try. And also, I went online and I quizzed myself with online questions and answers, so you can also do that as well. For the books, I would say find you a good MRI book and read it front to back until you understand the information. For me, it took about 10 times because I just wanted to make sure that I understood the information before I started the program, and I also had time to do it, so that helped me. Also, find a book that has several review questions and answers, and also read the explanations. Whenever you have a review book, you may see the question and the answer, and they also give an explanation of why the answer is correct. So I studied all of that information, and also I found the site that had a lot of questions and answers for me to study on my phone. If I was away from my house or at work on my lunch break, I could easily pull up those questions on my phone and instead of bringing books around. So you can also do that as well. In total, I studied over about 3,000 review questions. I wanted to make sure that I had a vast amount of questions and answers to study for. 
to help me prepare because I have test anxiety. So I wanted to be prepared. And when I went in to take my test, I didn't want to be nervous. And I would say find you a good sectional anatomy book that show the pictures well so that if that is asked on your registry, you will know how to pick out the images. So in case you are wondering, I studied for three months. I would say anything beyond three months is too long and you may end up forgetting. I know a lot of people who finish their course and they take the MRI registry a week after they are done. They may take it a month, three months after they are done. I believe if you are waiting six months, almost to a year, you can end up forgetting the information. So I do not recommend that. But I also know that people have busy lives. They have different work schedules. And depending on what type of tasks they may have in their daily life, it may be impossible to take their registry before that three month time frame. But I will say anything after three months, it just make you not remember the information well. So I would say try to take it within the three months so that the material is still fresh. Once you are ready to take your test, do not reschedule your appointment. Whenever I made my appointment for my ART registry, I did not change the date. I stuck to it. I made sure that I had everything remembered and convert to memory before my test date. Whenever you are taking your test, read the question and the answers carefully. Once you choose that answer, do not change it. Just stick with it. Something in your mind told you to choose that answer, so do not change it. Just go online. Make sure you find a good review book. If you are wondering which book to find, just go read the reviews. Go see which book has the most ratings to help you better decide. So just make sure you are studying and just good luck on your test. And I am glad that you all stay to the end. And thank you all for watching my presentation. Good luck. Feel free to comment if you have any questions, okay?